Oh, fun to be had with system D again. So a flaw has been found in policy kit that allows a user with a UID greater than int max to successfully execute any system CTL command. And that does not mention anything about giving a password. And the bug has been given a common vulnerability, an exploit, a CV identifier of 2018-19788. And at this point, fixes have not been implemented. So looking at the Ubuntu page, the upstream needs triaging and no fixes have been implemented. Similar story with Red Hat, affected, but will not fix the older versions of RHEL 6. It's been given a base score of 7 out of 10, which is not hugely vulnerable really, because the attack vector, as it states here, is local. The attack complexity of high is a bit of a mockery really, but you do need some sort of privilege to be able to start this off, and I'll actually show you the exploit running. It's not that complicated to do. This is the page on the MITRE website, not really much more than I've discussed already. This is the exploitable code. Someone's actually put together a script already. So yeah, very easy to do. And this is the detail about the bug and it was opened a week ago and has been closed or been actioned. So at this point, fixes will be implemented. The bug has been fixed, but we're just waiting for packages to be added to the various distributions. This is an Ubuntu 18.04 server here, and I'm about to get rid of it, so why not just run the exploit here? So what I'm going to do is add a new user and specify an identifier for this of, I think that's like 4 billion and 1. This is the number that's been floated around to exploit the bug. You might be able to do something different, yeah. but anyway. I'll have a shell, and we'll call this user priv. Let's give a password for priv. A password of hello, because why does it need to be that complicated? The bug revolves around exploiting systemctl commands. So I'm just going to look at the systemctl is active. Uh, that seems to be a few too many services, but I'll go for UFW. Let's start with the uncomplicated firewall, something we would like to remain active. So the systemctl is active UFW service, so it is currently active. If I want to stop the service, I will type systemctl stop ufw.service. And it requires authentication. So if I don't give authentication, it's not going to do anything. Access denied, and the service remains active. Perfect. Nothing wrong at this point. So now I'm going to switch user to the new priv user. Type in my super complicated password. We'll just run the first command again. So it is currently active on the UFW service. Now we'll go and stop it. So systemctl stop UFW service. Comes up with a funny error message. So invalid or out of range for property UID of type gint. So error assertion failed. And it seems to be referencing that it needs something or an integer over zero. So what is the result of running that command given that I've provided no authentication? The firewall is inactive. Brilliant. <laughs> so I could go back to my normal user account and attempt to restart the service. And there we are, I've got to provide authentication. So that's the correct behavior there, providing authentication. The incorrect behavior is simply allowing me to carry on. And I seem to have lost my connection to the server. So that exploit is possible due to the large UID against that account. So although that was a really easy exploit to run, I did have to provide some sort of authentication to get to that point. And it's most unusual to get to that number of IDs on a system. And that would be an awful lot of IDs if we went for in sequence. And we're starting from 1000, so yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? It's still a long way to go. So that would be extremely unusual, but perhaps not impossible. I suspect this is more a local authentication issue. It's not going to be possible to exploit over the internet. So perhaps more amusing and maybe slightly concerning that this happened in the first place, but hey. That was the policy kit bug in system D. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.